this one is bad. Dude, there's a sidewalk here. And there's a notice from code enforcement on it from like six months ago. And there's a padlock on the door. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do this one, but we'll go ahead and talk to a neighbor first. I just had a question about this house over here. Okay. Is anyone living there? No, the owner lives in Dallas. Oh yeah? Yeah, that thing's all torn up. They don't come cut the grass? I believe the city sends a contractor to cut it for him, but they already gave up and I guess nobody wants to cut it because it's real bad in the back. I was thinking about just cutting it to kind of make it look better for the neighborhood. Oh, you look like that guy on YouTube, huh? SB Mowing? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. That's you? Yeah, SB Mowing. Oh. It looks like a good project for me. Yeah, especially along that curb right there. When it rains, the water doesn't flow. Oh, it gets all stuck up on your driveway and stuff? Yeah, I can clean all that up too. Edge it up and shovel it out, you know, all the dirt. Oh, yeah. You'll give us a good show right there, man. I know I've seen you on TV. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate the information. Okay, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Hey everyone, Spencer here with SB Mowing and I went to go knock on this door because I saw a super overgrown lawn and wanted to help the homeowner out for free. But I saw a padlock on the door and a note from code enforcement saying that the lawn needed to be cut. So I assumed it was vacant, but I always like to talk to a neighbor to just get a little bit more of a backstory. So the neighbor right next door told me that the city used to have a contractor come out to take care of it, but they've just given up on the yard. It's been this way for a really long time and it's actually affecting the area. The edges on the front lawn were completely going over the curb into the street and really messing with the drainage. The neighbor told me that water would just completely pool up there and it had nowhere else to go. So that was definitely the biggest thing I wanted to get fixed, but I thought I would just make the whole thing look better for the entire area. So I got started by using my Mariama handheld equipment to completely edge up the driveway, front curbs, and the entire back patio. And there was so much more than I thought, but it looked so good once I got it cleared off. I also really did want to rake up the grass, but there was so much of it that I would probably have been there for a whole nother day. But if someone was living in this house, I absolutely would pick up the grass, but since no one's living here, I can just let it decompose back into the yard. And after I got done, it looked amazing. So be sure to stay till the very end of this video to see the awesome before and after pictures. But if you did want to support me further, my wife and I launched a brand new merch store, so you can check it out at sbmowing.com or it's in the description. Anyways, I really hope you all enjoy this video where I was freezing my toes off, freezing my fingers off, but I was getting the job done. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you next Friday. SB Mowing, out.
Hey everyone, Spencer here with SB Mowing and February is a Random Acts of Kindness Month. And there's a new movie coming out on February 23rd called Ordinary Angels. So I thought it would be cool to show you a quick montage of my most heartwarming interactions while helping people out. And I challenge you to get out and help out one person this month. I was driving by and noticed your lawn is a little bit long. I was gonna offer to mow it down and clean up for free for you. For free? Yeah. Who does that? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Where's this? You're, you're an angel. <laughs> fell out of the sky. An angel fell out of the sky. I do free lawn transformations in the neighborhood. Uh -huh. I'd love to take care of it for you. It doesn't even look like our house anymore. It really doesn't. No, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I, especially with that. That was amazing. I came home and I was like, it's not even my house. I do free lawn transformations in the neighborhood. Yeah, I won't charge you anything. And I'll edge it and everything and make it look real good for you. No, no, I don't have any money. You don't have to pay me. It's free. Really? Is that okay? Yeah. You said you don't have a mower? No. I want to give you mine. No, I can't take it. No, that. you can take it. Spencer. <laughs> oh my god. But <laughs> Oh my god, I want to cry. Now. I'm like speechless. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Watching these back just really warms my heart. So if you can, get out and do something nice for someone this month and go out to your theater on February 23rd to watch Ordinary Angels.
right, everyone. So we just cleaned up the little back porch area right here and I found a really cool thing on the cement. We've got some footprints right here from some kids that grew up in this house. Ricky, Davey, and Linda. This is just super cool because I couldn't imagine coming back to my childhood home and it looking like this. So maybe if they come back and look at it soon, at least the yard will be cleaned up and looking really good for them. But I just thought I'd show you guys that. Let's get back to cleaning it up.
chain came off. All right, so we are on the front porch shielding ourselves from the wind, but we just got finished. It looks a whole lot better. Those big old logs or the trees that you saw me pull out of the front yard, I'm just gonna kind of line the driveway with them. I don't really know where to put them. And both of these houses right here are vacant, so it's really not bothering anyone. So whenever someone decides to clean up this house, they're gonna be right there as a little decorative piece that I planted in there because I don't know where to bring them. I don't have the equipment to lift those up into my truck and so we're just gonna leave those there. Also, the sun is about to go down. I've been here literally all day, and so I'm just leaving the clippings in the yard. It'll be fine, it's just an abandoned house. If someone was living here, I would absolutely clean it up for them, but those clippings will degrade into the yard over the next few weeks, the next month, 
And so it'll look really, really good. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't done so yet, go to sbmowing.com, check out my new merch. It really helps to support me. So thank you all for bearing through it with me on this really cold day. And we'll see you next time. SB Mowing, out.